Many people still call Ray Marine by the Raytheon name, even though it's been nearly two decades since Raytheon sold the brand. What hasn't changed at all this time is the quality and industry-leading innovation by the brand. Ray Marine Ray 91 Marine Radio is a good example of this approach. The radio comes packed with commercial-grade electronics that tout better performance and longevity. All of that is packed in a solid aluminum casing that makes the unit resistant to shock and vibrations, while also providing superior heat dissipation. Ray Marine Ray 91 is meant for use as an overhead unit. For that setup, it skips the display on the radio and instead includes a small screen on the handset. Simple buttons included on the handset make normal operations easy to handle. Since the handsets hold control, they can monitor channels, send distress signals, and control the general operation of the marine radio. Meanwhile, the radio hides out of sight and saves space. This setup, while interesting, isn't exactly novel. Raymarine's top competition, and perhaps better known brand, Garmin 2 has competing options available. Garmin VHF315 Marine Radio offers a similar setup at a lower price. The major difference between these two models is the build quality. Garmin's radio is packed in a conventional casing, which appears inexpensive as compared to Raymarine's aluminum body. One aspect where Raymarine shines over its competition is the ease of integration of various offerings from the brand. While the Ray 91 will integrate with most compatible displays, it works like a charm with Raymarine's Axiom display. Easy compatibility and setup make things easier for those more serious about offshore fishing. Convenient connectivity with systems like sonar, display, chart plotter, fish finder, radar, and VHF marine radio makes the offshore fishing experience a whole lot easier. Raymarine's connectivity shows up admirably well in the Ray 91 as well. It is possible to build upon this system to cover a large ship. The basic set includes a transceiver, a passive speaker, and the handset. You can set it up to be a multi-station intercom with wired or wireless connectivity, though additional accessories will need purchasing. Ray 91 can support a speaker station and up to three wireless handsets. Each handset uses an induction-based DC charger to save space and for added convenience. Many of the features of this radio depend on additional accessories. While the radio can receive AIS, it needs a multifunction display, MFD, to show the information. It has an onboard GPS, but it works best with the GA150 passive GPS antenna. The built-in loud hailer and fog signal generator work better with the optional hailing horn. With such a focus on networking and connectivity, it's only natural that Ray 91 be compatible with NMEA 2000 and NMEA 0183. Overall, Raymarine Ray 91 offers commercial-grade electronics and build quality to recreational buyers. If you want a high-quality setup with good networking and compatibility, this radio is a great choice. However, its price tag and additional accessories might make you think twice. To sum up what we like is the excellent integration with other electronics especially Raymarine Axiom line. The high quality build with unit housed in a solid aluminum box. The compact size. It's compatible with NMEA 2000 and NMEA 0183. The IPX7 waterproofing. It's clear, good quality audio. And it's second station compatible. On the downside, there is no screen on the fixed mount radio. It lacks GPS and the full accessories and setup can get very expensive. Our rating for transmit power is 10 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. Functionality, 9.5 out of 10. Waterproofing, 10 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9.5 out of 10. So what do you think? Is this the best marine radio for you? Check another video where we reviewed the five best marine radios and see if any of these is a better option for you. Tell us in the comments what you think. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Have an awesome day.